747 now. It is a new year. That means it's time for a new you. Anyone who's ever made a New Year's resolution knows that they are very hard to keep. So joining us this morning, life coach Deborah Hawkins to give us a few tips on how to keep them. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Glad to see you. Yeah. It seems like we just did this, right? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Wow. Here we are. Can't yeah. believe it was a year ago. Yeah, here All we right. are in a new year. Well, um, Go ahead, tips. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm so ready. Everyone feels so excited for this new year, including me. I think everyone's ready to, you know, make changes and get started. So, okay, so I'm, I've got tips for you all out okay. there. So, and you don't need a life coach for this, so grab a sheet of paper. And on the left side, I want you to write down um, any of the incompletions that you feel like that you didn't get through um, 2015. On the right side, the goals, the targets. Mm. Um, the reason I think this is so important now, and I've been working with my clients and, and a lot of groups about this, is because we want to have that clean slate, mm -hmm. you know, moving into 2016. And for many of us, we carry over the same goals year after year after year, and maybe they don't fit anymore. It's kind of like cleaning out a mental closet. Right. Right? You know, you, you take a look to see, does this still work for me? Is um, Does it work with my lifestyle now? You know, a lot of times we... Uh, think we want things and we keep carrying them over and it might be because our mother wanted us to five right. years ago and you don't have, that doesn't actually fit with your goals exactly anymore. exactly or it might be we think we should mm. so I think it's really important um, you know to look at that so at the bottom of the of the paper um, write your big why and um, a lot of the great thought leaders are using this process now because the big why keeps the motivation going for our That's desires right. that we want for the year. That's right. So, and and that takes a little more time, um, you know. And you know, uh, let's stop right there. For, okay. Okay. What, what is the big why? So, you know, because. Uh, I, when I went to get into shape last year, yes. um, the, the owner of the gym asked me, what is the big why? And, and in that context, it meant what is going to keep you coming here no matter what, no matter what the weather's like, no matter. So is Absolutely. that kind yes. of similar? Yes. Oh, for instance, you know, a, a smaller why might be, I want to lose the 20 pounds so I can get sure. back in that little black dress. Right. That may not be enough motivation to keep you going week after week and stay committed. A bigger why could be, I really want to get healthy this year. Yeah. I want to be able to ride my bike an extra mile with my with my children. Right. You know, those are the kinds of whys that. That's good. So we got about 30 seconds left. Yes, Deborah. yes, yes. So, um, so those are the things you want to do. And again, the reason these incompletions are so important are so that you know we're not carrying over all this mental. Um, uh, clutter. Yeah. You want to be clear as we move into the next year. So, um, you know, take some time with this process. It's really fun. It is fun. And when you find out your big why, I know for me last year, um, it, you know, it kept me committed to doing something every week for the whole year. Good. I like it. It's great tips. Thank right. you so much, Deborah. Oh, and check out DeborahHawkins.com. You can get more <laughs> tips there and a calendar. There you go. <laughs> and, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. All right, time right now, everybody. It is 7.50. Let's take a look at today's Mind Teaser. The birthstone for January is the garnet. I gave you that one. That's not the question. Today, it's which states have garnet as their gemstone? I'll give you the answer after the break.